The man is back. Hey, I survived the woods. And I'm back. Poor Moose is gonna miss me. Oh yeah, Moose came to drop us off too. Yeah. To see us off. To Alaska. Well actually first we're going to fly into Portland and then we're hanging out with the Addicted Fishing guys for a couple days, do some fishing there, and then we're leaving for Alaska. You stoked? That was a plug right there. I'm pretty stoked. I'm okay. so stoked I don't know what to say. We gotta get through this. When was the, wait, you said the last time you flew was like 10 years ago, right? January 2009. First leg of the trip. We gotta get it done. Up real quick. Bye, Moose. Bye. Bye, love you. So tired. How is it? How late is it at your house right now? I mean, four, three, four, two, three, four, something. I don't know. Sorry, YouTube. I forgot to wear my pasties. Mm. So James and I arrived here in Washington last night, late, like. 12.30 or something, and our buddy Marlin from Addicted Fishing picked us up and we we're staying here at his house right now. So we got a little bit of sleep and today, I think we're gonna be setting up some fly rods, getting things together, but I need to let you guys know what we're doing here on this trip. So we are heading to Alaska, but we have two days of fishing here in Washington. Maybe a little bit of Chinook fishing, maybe some bass fishing, really not sure. So there's like, a whole world of opportunity right now of what we can do. Basically, we're just gonna go with the flow. Two days here in Washington and then heading over to Alaska. But right now we're waiting for Jordan Kanigi to come pick us up. He's also part of the Addicted crew. I'm not sure exactly what he has planned for us today, but I think we might be getting our fly reels set up for this Alaska trip. And that's something else I haven't even really shared with you guys is that the trip is gonna be all fly fishing, which I'm super stoked for it. But I'll start babbling on here, and I know what you guys really want. You guys are all here for one thing. Weather report? I think that's what they want. I want to say today's weather report for the morning, as of before I took my shower, it was 67 degrees. Sunny. Well, let, me, let me double check here real quick. Not a single freaking cloud in the sky, so. Not that it's going to matter, because I think we're going to be inside for a lot of this day, just figuring out that Okuma reel and rod situation, getting them set up. Should be an experience, because I don't know if you guys know this, you probably do. I've never fly fished in my life, and that's what we're doing in Alaska, so. Uh, it should be a fun experience, go for the ride, probably snag a bear, knowing me. Well, I'm back. Weather reports every day. Sure, if I can remember. I'll remind you. And maybe we'll sit down and I'll go over what I, where I've been. Yeah, we'll do that later. But today. yeah, now right now. We'll close that out at the end of the video. Maybe. Maybe next video. We'll give him a few minutes. The video after that. We'll give him a few minutes of James and where you've been all summer. But not till later. You gotta make him wait. Just getting in. Yeah. <laughs> you always gotta make him wait. Sims hooked us up with some waders and waiting boots for this trip. But you, but these look a lot nicer than the $70 ones we got for Delaware. Oh yeah. I've actually never even owned like a legit pair of waders. I'll give you a little test run. Oh, there's the belt. How's it feel? Oh, dude, these are pretty sweet. So big shout out to Marlon. I mean, you got him the plain Jane silver, but that's my style. That's definitely your style. Yeah, this is, this is exciting. It is. I'm feeling good. What's up? Yo, dude. Ready to go gun shopping? Yeah. Sure. Oh yeah, we gotta go get guns. <laughs> Marlon told us that last night. He was like, I'm a little worried about the bear, so I'm sending Jordan to get the gun. Yeah, he just like, screw it, I'm writing you a check, dude. <laughs> you just go good buy to see it. 
I'm s dude, I'm so stoked. We were just trying on our waders, it's like. Next level, dude. It's, uh, is it? The coolest part is the airplane thing. Yeah, it's like you're using the number a, one thing. I'm looking you're for. using a float plane like it's your like it's your little Toyota. Like it's like oh you want to go somewhere? Like let's go over here. And like the way that they found all these rivers and shit is just dudes flying around on a plane and being like, yeah, like I think we can land right there. Let's go fish it. Real life. Yeah, it, totally. I mean it's. It's badass. You'll go on more float plane rides in like the next couple days than you probably will the rest of your life. What are we mainly going to be fishing with fly wise? So I'm completely like. So they're all beads. I always joke with people that fish in these, these fisheries in Alaska because they take their fly fishing really serious. Um, but we're not even, it's not really fly fishing. We're, we're drift fishing. You know what I mean? Like fly fishing is when you have a bug floating on the surface. Yeah. You know what I mean? And um, so you get these gentlemen up there who are like these, these real diehard fly fishermen that, you know, all they do is dry fly fish with size 14 caddis. And, you know, they're used to like just fly fishing and they get so proper and everything with how they fish. And it's like, dude, just let it, it just let it drag. <laughs> just let it go. Just throw it out there and let it go. <laughs> so that's basically what we're doing. It's like, you said, what'd you call it? Just drift, drift fishing. Drift yep. Fishing. So we'll use indicators. We'll use like, you know, size five indicators with 12 pound test and then two two or three split shot, however much you need for where you're fishing and a two and a half foot, three foot leader with a bead that you just do a little bead knot around with a number four hook. And so these fish, they follow, they come into the, all the sockeye come from the ocean, they swim through the lake and as soon as they hit the lake and go towards the river, all the trout just follow. Out of the lake. Out of the lake. And okay, so, so these, these lakes are, are massive. Like. Big. Rainbow trout, right? giant rainbows, giant yeah. rainbows, like and so they're resident. World class. Oh yeah, rainbows. as big as they get. Okay. And so they're resident to these lakes, and then once the sockeye hit the lake, they follow them up the river system, and just to eat the eggs. And so that's why we fish these bead patterns is we're just emulating the eggs during the period of hatch that they're in. So that's why it's like you'll see some guys up there who are like really super anal on painting beads and like making them the right color and. Some of them need to have a little blood dot or like, because it's, it's crucial. I mean, there's millions of eggs floating down the river and that trout's supposed to pick yours yeah. over all the other ones, you know. That's awesome. And there's like, you were saying there's like thousands and thousands and thousands of sockeye right now too, right? Oh, millions. And they don't eat it all once they hit fresh water. No. Right. You'll catch a lot of them on accident. It'll get of to course, the point where it's course. annoying. Yeah. Because there's, they're a lot, I mean, they're big and they're like a fighting a, a you know, a two by six. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's hard to pull them <laughs> awesome. in the current, so. So this is what we're working with right here, right? Oh, this is a five weight. These are nice. They'll work. You're gonna get your butt kicked on these things, dude. Yeah, buddy. Uh, we're loaded for bear. So we just had to stop here at a Coastal Ranch Farm at home to pick up the thing that YouTube does not like us talking about or showing. Pop, pop. But just a little bit of safety for uh, just in case we get some rambunctious bears while we're on this trip. Yeah, we're on our way to the fly shop. Fly shopping. What do you think, little? Fly shopping. Then we're going to go to my house and try to break in in my mailbox. Sec tip. Where are we at? The fly fishing shop. Literally. How specific? It's not a fly fishing shop, it's the fly fishing shop. <laughs> oh, hey, I closed it. We got thingamabobbers. This is basic. We could go fishing right now. Give me some tippet. Just don't tell me. We have to start saying that Let's now. Tippet. It's not tip leader. It. It's tippet. Tippet. Go. <laughs> Sexy that looks now. That's yours. Dips. Yeah. I don't want the uh, mustard. I'll tell you that. I want the mustard. mustard. The mustard's an interesting color. I want the it? dirty mustard one. It looks like a bass lure. Hey, little. We're gonna cruise up here and look at these fish real quick and then bomb them. Do it.
So yesterday, James and I ran around with Jordan all over Washington and Oregon, getting stuff ready for Alaska. Came back here to Marlins and we went to dinner and we just kind of had a chill night. We were gonna fish, but decided not to. Going right now, actually, to go tiger musky fishing, which should be very fun. I've never caught a tiger musky. James has still never caught a musky. Yeah, that's the plan for the day. Dude, the key is though, is you have to have the Mal Meow Mix Original Choice 100% Complete Blend Nutrition. That's the juice? The, the juice. juice. The juice. Look at this big ass freaking car, or freaking <laughs> Look at all those catfish and carp or koi. So Thursday, we're getting in the plane. We're gonna fly to Anchorage. And then from Anchorage, we are getting on another little plane and flying into the back country of Alaska. And we are gonna chase some monster trout. And I'm so freaking excited, I can't. Woo! Woo! James, you still have to tell your story about where you were this summer, because everyone missed you. It's not the time. <laughs> we gotta finish this vlog from yesterday. Uh, oh, okay. I will say one thing, these trout that we're going to catch are not normal trout. World class, baby. Dude, dog, distraction. No? Are you gonna tell the people where you were? I feel like they should know. They followed me and I was pretty explicit on where I was going before I left. For real though, I was at camp for what, like eight weeks or something like that? Like five yeah. days right after we finished the trip pretty much. I just went straight there and did that life. Dealt with 1,200 Germans for like five days at one point. Um, roasted a pig, the usual a camp stuff. A lot of cooking? Yeah, a little bit. I'm more, you know, if I'm cooking, I'm not doing my job kind of thing because I'm supposed to manage these people. So I try to do my best to just set them up for success. So. I'll let them cook, but I'll prep stuff for them, kind of stuff. And then I run around camps and have to do the loop. It's it's a lot of fun, a lot of work, early mornings. Just and like now, fishing? Yeah, now I'm here, what do you know? Now we're back to back to the grind. Yeah, I feel like I've had like 10 days of not doing stuff, like 10 days of not doing something since like February 14th, when I left. Oh yeah, to help with the van. van. And then it was that, and then straight to the 81 days of fun in the sun into a little party at the river house for five days and then right to camp and then i don't know what i i think i went to the river house and then came straight pretty much there. yeah straight to washington so we got alaska and hawaii and then we're yeah, done supposedly yeah then i can well i would say never travel again but that's stupid <laughs> so I'm definitely gonna have to hit some of those places up illinois coming for you this is my warm-up for next spring but yeah no I think this is my first time fishing in like like over a month definitely it's like did you fish at camp I did like twice but it's, it's over a month there's a huge lake there but I just I, don't know, I go to bed early <laughs> I'm an old man we're going out musky fishing right now I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog of us getting over here to Portland the Pacific Northwest and getting ready for Alaska hanging out with the addicted fishing guys make sure you go check them out this is Marlon he has been our fearless leader What's up, guys since we've been here he is letting us stay at his house he planned the whole Alaska piece for us and we're gonna go crush some giant trout tomorrow mm, stoked I'm, I'm so stoked. So I, I'm actually like way more I'm a little nervous too but I'm pumped oh yeah there's like if you look up the area we're going, the first thing that pops up on Google is it all about the bears. And there's just thousands and thousands of bears. That's why we had to go get the bear protection yesterday. Exactly. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button for me. We'll see you on the next one. Shazam!